Hello, I'm Loretta O'Connor, and welcome to the 60 Second Buzz. The dollar is depressed, and I see a drawn-out economic downturn coming, if not even a full-blown recession. In the first place, Wall Street is hoping consumer spending will bail out the subprime mortgage mess, but impending energy price increases and the rising price of oil will cause the average Joe to put his cash back in his wallet. Secondly, some investors are waiting for a further bailout by the Fed in the form of a rate cut following the Fed's December 11 meeting. But a full percentage point cut would be needed to allow subprime mortgage owners to refinance their loans. Thirdly, in the area we really need to keep an eye on, the labor market is the biggest indicator of a possible recession. In early November, the government reported that jobless claims were up by 20,000, with the total reaching 339,000. That's the highest number of claims since April. Most experts agree the labor market is weakening, even if they won't predict a collapse yet. But remember, the subprime crisis started back in February, and the full fallout, fallout won't end until sometime in 2008. Over $200 billion in write-offs are expected before we hear the end of it. Steel stocks are a sector that has bounced back recently, but it may be a false positive. If we run into a global slowdown, starting in the U.S., steel stocks get a further hit, and they have room to fall. What if the steel stocks fall all the way to their last August lows? Then they would be cheap and worth eyeballing for a buy again. But if investors panic and the market takes another drop, steel stocks could be one area with some room for an immediate sharp decline. Death Cross Trader waits for this kind of short-term boost before we make plays on falling stocks. Currently, readers are sitting on gains of over 200% with options on Lennar Corporation, ticker LEN, and Pulta Holmes, ticker PHM. For more profits from bearish trends, check out the Death Cross Trader website. That's all for TFN's 60 Second Buzz. I'm Loretta O'Connor, and thanks for joining me. Thank you.